Since we're part of a field trial, we're continually striving to improve our technology to ensure it is ready for our upcoming BMW i vehicles. With that in mind, you may have come across a few bumps along the way. Certain messages or error codes displaying on the instrument cluster or your iDrive display screen. Whenever this happens, it is crucial that you document the mileage and driving conditions at the time the message or code appears and report it back to your local BMW Active E Center. Regardless, your vehicle has three driving reset modes that allow the Active E to assess the situation. Then these messages or codes are logged in its vehicle history. You'll be able to keep driving if they are non-critical to the operation of the car. The first of these modes is similar to the force quit or control alt delete function of many desktop computers. When a message or code appears, you would be required to press the vehicle's start stop button, take out the key, put the key back in, and press the start stop button again. If this resolves the concern, then you should be set to go. The next mode is similar to shutting down a computer. Here you turn off the car, exit the vehicle as safely as possible, and lock the car. Wait five minutes or until the light of the start stop button shuts off before powering it back on and driving. If the issue occurs while driving and you prefer to stay inside the car, merely open and close the door to simulate exiting the vehicle. You will also need to press the lock button on your key fob. Finally, the third mode is equivalent to unplugging your computer and then coming back later to plug in and power up. In this case, you would remove the key, lock the car for it to fully power off, leave it for approximately 20 minutes, and then come back to turn it back on using the start button. If you notice the previous condition remains and the message pops up again, or if you are unsure how to proceed, call BMW Active E Roadside Assistance for help.